I do this every year. Finally, the pond is frozen. We're taking out the Suron. I'm gonna stub these tires. This year, instead of screwing into this brand new tire, here I bought these screws. I'm basically just gonna screw it into the tire from the inside. I'm guessing it's gonna be like three or four inches. There it is. Ice is about that thick, so we should be safe enough to be able to go in the whole thing. Suron, death tire, reaper tire, whatever you want to call it. See if these screws actually stay in the tire and don't just rip right through. Got over like 250 screws in this thing. Don't ask how the tire's holding air, what I did so the tube wouldn't pop. Front tire doesn't have that many screws in it. Can't put that many in there without it hitting the forks. So. The edges are not all the way frozen yet, but it's a little bit thicker out here. Thick enough, I think. Uh, Let's see how thick this is. Right now I can hear it cracking as I'm walking out further. Look at that big crack already right here. We're at exactly three inches, which I think is thick enough. It's gonna have to be thick enough for today. I don't know, uh, I drilled a couple holes around the whole pond. Over there it's like two inches thick, so that's really sketchy. Over here, it was like an inch on the edge. Definitely not riding in the middle. I wanted to get a full like track layout or a big loop around the whole pond, but it's not possible today. It's been like 10 degrees for the past four or five days, but then it snowed. I shoveled off a little bit. Kind of ruined this video, not gonna lie. The other day when I got the thumbnail, this whole thing was frozen enough to go on and there was no snow, it looked really cool. But overnight we got like two inches and it covered the whole thing. We got a bunch of stuff coming for the Suron. I have a, I'll pop it up on the screen. I've never seen anybody use it before. A legit track kit, so if you're new and you wanna see that ripping in the snow, make sure you subscribe, throw a like on the video. If you're pumped to see how that goes on this thing. I think it hooks up too good. Woo, hooks up too good. Screws are slicing big ridges in it. It actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> Run tire is sketchy. It kind of slips because it's so spread apart on the knobbies. Then it regains traction. Dude, oh, you can hear it cracking. It rips. It hooks up so much better than I thought it was going to with these screws. It like kind of slides out, it pushes out, then regrips, slides out with the front. Perfect amount of sketchy where it's still fun. Back brakes barely work. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm caved in right now. It's about to probably break. Woo! Look at all the spots I'm like breaking through. There's water, there's water. Definitely not thick enough yet. I think it would be even better with the Supermoto tires that have that side bite. Maybe I'll go put the Supermotos on right now and stud those. Woo! I don't have rear brakes, so I'm gonna loop it. Break it through right there. 
Whew. Kind of breaking through in spots. Try and come in full speed from there and somehow not crash. It's gotta go fast enough so I technically hydroplane over it. It just stayed locked in somehow. I'm so dizzy. All right, quickly cutting into this video. Once again, I want to thank Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Onyx Off-Road is, you guys are missing out because this is one of the best apps that you can have right now. You ride dirt bikes, you do off-road stuff, UTV, Jeeps, ATVs. This is the app to have if you're trying to find new trails to ride. Pretty much the quick rundown on Onyx Off-Road. You have the map right here that you can scroll around wherever you're located and every little pinpoint is actually a new place to ride that somebody's been to. So scrolling around on the map I'm gonna find a new trail to ride by me I'm just gonna randomly click on my phone find a trail the first one that popped up is Camp Creek Trail so once you actually pull it up it's gonna show you every single thing about this trail so the distance is 6.3 miles coming down it's accessible by dirt bike 4x4 a full width truck so if I want to take my truck off-road this trail is gonna allow me to do that you see a description on the trail what to expect and what you're getting yourself into before you show up and it actually has photos so you can see what you're getting yourself into all the trails that you can expect to ride that way you actually know it's worth it to make the trip gives you a difficulty rating so this is moderate it says water crossing can be very difficult after a hard rain rolling over it'll give you all the trails nearby in case you go to this trail and you can't do it there's a bunch of trails close to that one. This one's 2.6 miles away. On Lake Road, 3 miles away, New River Gorge. And the list goes on of new places to ride. If you're like me and you're always trying to find new places to ride, Onyx Off-Road is the app for you. If you want to get 20% off your membership, you can use my code on the screen right here, or you can start with a seven day free trial. Everything will be linked below in the description. Thank you to Onyx for sponsoring this video. And we'll get back into ripping the around with the studded tires. Woo! I have no control. Oh, I think my throttle broke. I can get so low. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Ow. <laughs> like torqued my arm. Who calls me this? I hate, I hate New York. I hate the winter. There's nothing fun about the cold. All right, let's go back in the house and get warm. <laughs> This is just a winter setup. It hooks up so good. <laughs> Thing rips. Man, this thing is so much fun. I wish there was a little bit more snow, but that'll be for the track kit once that comes in in the next couple weeks. That thing is coming from Russia, so hopefully it comes. I'm just crossing my fingers that it actually makes it to my house. I think like I was saying, my better bet is to do it with the supermodel wheel. That way I can get more side bite and like actually lean this thing over because I'm so limited to side bite because it's going to hit the uh, swing arm. But if I have a small enough little spike, I think it'd work pretty good. But if you guys want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the Supermoto studded ice tire, whatever I'm going to call a video. The thing when it's 10 degrees, the back brakes stop working after like five minutes. Ah, the air finally uh, popped on me. See where it's gripping, where it lost all the paint from the screws? It's only going in like just on the tip. And my throttle's acting funky. Probably because it's so cold. I broke through that. A couple days it'll be frozen solid for the supermoto. Let this thing thaw out. Here's a sneak peek to the next video. The supermoto setup. I had these small little actual ice picks that I think are going to work a lot better.